Uh, hi guys, welcome to Football with Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading a love in this big, big bad world of ours. Before we go any further, please like, share, most importantly subscribe to the channel. Remember, subscription is free if you haven't done it yet. Hit that subscribe button right now. Don't forget the notification bell. I keep on telling you guys that. Okay, disgraceful thing happened uh, a couple of days ago outside the Stadium of Light in Sunderland. And he's gonna... You in here. This is Beep Stoke or? Show him what you've heard of, lad. Uh, Half an hour after game, shit! What do you think of shit? Sunderland! That's alright, we hate Sunderland, we hate Sunderland. How are we then? Yeah. Blech! See this, this is uh, Thomas, and he's gonna. You in here. This is Beep Stoke or? Show him what you've heard of, lad. Uh, Half an hour after game, shit! What do you think of shit? Sunderland! That's alright, we hate Sunderland, we hate Sunderland. How are we then? Yeah. Black. See this, this. Bobby Stoko. Legendary manager for Sunderland. Remember, 1973, he done this. And Sunderland has done it! Stoko can't believe it! But Sunderland from the second division! Yes, that was, of course, a 1973 FA Cup final where Stoko uh, took his second division Sunderland team to Wembley, beating the mighty Don Revy Leeds United at the time. However, what these two idiots didn't realise while wearing Newcastle top was Stoko even done this before the days of his manager. Stoko once again. Yes, he was also part of that 1955 FA Cup winning team. And let's be honest, one of very few Newcastle players to win an honour wearing the famous black and white. So, I can't believe that two Newcastle fans actually done that to who is also a Newcastle legend. 261 times he played for Newcastle over a 10 year period. So my message to these guys is check your history before you do anything stupid like that again.